Hello, um, my name is Ashton Peters. Um, today I'm going to talk about space exploration. I think space exploration is important in my view because I believe it furthers human evolution and builds upon our future prospects as <coughs> for our race. But it's more than that, to be honest. Even though I live in Sittingbourne, thousands of miles away from any, ma any major corporation, I still feel connected to the idea of space exploration because I, because I think it's inspiring. Personally, I think it would be amazing to travel into space, even see a planet up close. And with the initiatives like Mars One and Virgin Galactic, it means that it's possible to even think about the idea of space travel. And this could be accessible to everyday people. And in time, it should be like this. But that's not how things are now. We live in a world of haves and have-nots. And access to opportunities from a young age is what makes the difference. That said, I certainly think that so-called normal people with a genuine interest should be encouraged to participate in space exploration. Because we need a mix of everyday people, I'd like to hope that this, will be, that this will be something we can achieve in my lifetime. But I think we need to see the challenges of space exploration as something for all humanity, not just for a certain power or country. For example, like political, economic and cultural communities all need to work together to share their knowledge and ideas to create something that will push us all out into the universe. I know that there are about 7 billion people on the Earth, and I know that millions upon millions of us live in poverty. But space exploration is like a dream. It's a dream that we've had for thousands of years, and the curiosity of, of the universe has got us all looking up to the sky. And I believe it's something people seem to want to build on to make it real. So as a species, we are fascinated by the night sky, I doubt anyone here hasn't looked up at the night sky and thought, wow, what does the universe really look like from up there? It also has us asking questions like, are we alone in the universe? It's questions like these that inspires us. When I learn about space, it makes me feel knowledgeable and empowered. To be able to understand fragments about our universe and what I don't know only intrigues me to want to grow this knowledge and learn from others. For example, I watch the sky at night. They often have the general public on there with one thing in common, a, a passion for space. <coughs> space exploration is the same. We don't need thousands of people to go up into space and explore. We just need to have people to inspire people on Earth to achieve more than we have ever imagined. But if someone were to land on Mars, it would inspire me because it'd mean that we as a species have actually stepped foot on another planet. It's an amazing thought. It just shows it just show what humans are capable of. And we need to hold on to that idea that we can achieve great things. This is inspirational. When I think about where I am in life, I know that I might not actually get into space, but the idea of space is freedom that we aren't restricted to one place. I think that we need to be better, be better at looking after our own planet and stop it from dying because of human activity and ignorance. But even then, I don't think space exploration is pointless. We could learn so much and potentially come up with solutions to help our own planet. That said, if we do one day manage to populate another planet, I hope to think that we will be better caretakers of that than we are, have been on Earth. We have to, as we wouldn't want to create a world where our next generation would be there to clean up our mistakes. We would need to have a new approach, a new way of living together that wasn't a repeat of our past and previous behaviours on this planet. Because it would be pretty shocking if we really did ruin the Earth. And I think we'd absolutely be disgusted with ourselves if we did it again on another planet. And say we do colonise another planet on an enormous scale, I don't think everyone is going to want to go. 
there will still be people who want to stay earthbound. Ideally, it would be the people's choice to stay or go. I think that as a race, we should be opening up the conversation about space in a more mainstream way. We need to encourage and better share where the information or conversation is going. Not only to the elitist class, but for all classes. After all, these are the fundamental questions that are going to change the history of humanity. My granddad was also interested in space. He always looks up at the stars, and that got me interested in it too. I started to fantasise about being in space. And when I looked up into the night sky, I somehow felt more connected to the bigger picture. And when I first got introduced to the idea of stargazing, I used to read loads, of, I re, used to read loads space, cosmology and astrology. My dad used, would buy me books on the universe. I used to love to read them before bed. I'd then have lucid dreams about the universe. I still have these books. I learned about the Eagle Eye Nebula and the Cat's Eye Nebula. They are just beautiful. In a way, these images are pieces of art and beauty that spread throughout the universe. Today, as I stand here and talk, I know I want to learn more about space and the wonders slash secrets that it, it may hold. I'm not sure how I would do this, but I just want to participate, learn and continue to be inspired and hopefully after today, after today, inspire others. Because you don't have to have a label to believe in something and follow an interest with a passion. So for me, space exploration is not a waste of time or money or whether it's pointlessness. It's, a, it's the result of thousands of years of human endeavour and wonderment. And that's something I think we can all relate to. So before I end this, I would like to say a little poem that I wrote. We are a travelling species. It's in our nature to explore, the, to explore beyond the bonds of our culture, to a world unknown in understanding curiosities of our venture, to expand into the universe like it's the world's endeavour. So let your hearts break free from being tied to the earth. Imagine your never-ending tree of dreams flying freely through the universe. Hold on to your dearest creations and let loose your ultimate imaginations to inspire the next generation of exploration to boldly go where no one has been before. Thank you. Thank you.